Thank you all for coming out tonight for our game with Medfield. Um, before we start with the senior night festivities, we'd like to first very quickly uh, recognize our former boys basketball coach, Coach Bliss, just retired after 40 years coaching the golf team, was just named National Golf Coach of the Year as well too, so we want to give a big hand for Coach Bliss. And again, thank you all for coming out tonight uh, for our Coaches vs. Cancer game. Um, thank you as well to Medfield for, for being a part of, of tonight's festivities as well. We wish you guys the best of luck with the rest of the season. Um, instead of uh, charging money for admission tonight, um, any, any money that is given at the front table is going to go directly towards American Cancer Society. Um, cancer is unfortunately something that's affected all of us uh, in many ways, but one of the great things is that it also brings hope in that everyone can come together in a night like this and a community can come together and, and try to beat it. Because in order, in order to stand up to something like cancer, it takes heart and strength, courage, it takes determination, it takes resiliency. And there's nobody in this gym that has more of that than Coach Keen. We love you, Coach Keen. Thank you. All right. First things first, Herb, come on out for, real quick. I don't have anything for you, but I want you to come out here. Come on. Come on. I don't know if the, uh, all the Hoptown people know, but Herb got his 400th win on Monday night, which is unbelievable. 400 wins for Herb Grace. Congratulations, buddy. I feel I feel so honored. <laughs> Not six hundred losses. I feel so honored to, to to be able to coach against Herb for the last twenty years. And I know Medfield is so lucky to have the best coach in the Tri Valley League. So, and I, I'd like to uh, thank Herb very much. And and again, thank the the Big Blue. Uh, tonight is coaches versus cancer, and also very importantly, it's a night to recognize the seniors. Every night. Um, Every year on this night, you know, I thank the student body for coming to the games, and I thank the uh, community members for coming to the game and, and the pep band. Um, but I'd be remiss if I didn't take this time, since I have the mic, to thank everybody in the community of Hopkinton for the support and outpouring of well wishes and prayers and good thoughts for my family. It's, it's, it's really reaffirmed and confirmed what I've always thought about the town of Hopkinton. So I want to thank everybody in the community. I had uh, so many people uh, reaching out to me and many of them sharing personal stories about um, their battles with cancer. So I want to thank everybody and I'd like to thank everybody who came out tonight. Thank you so much. And now, as I said, tonight is definitely a night to recognize the seniors and all that they've done over their four years. So we're going to introduce the seniors and call out their parents, and they're going to take a quick picture. First up, Captain Stephen Maffiori with his parents Keith and Mary and Grandma Peg. Next up, Captain Tommy Ambrosoni with his parents Mark and Maria and brother Michael. Next up, Captain Drew Rancatori with his father David and his uncle Steve. Drew's mom, Maureen, wanted to be here, but she was under the weather tonight, so we'll send good thoughts to uh, Maureen and Grandma Ruth. Next up, Jacob Cohen with his mother, Lori, and sister, Allison. Ned Dean with his parents Tim and Allison Dean. Yeah. 
Travis Finfrock with his parents Jeff and Lisa Finfrock. Alan Rosen with his parents Bruce and Linda Rosen and brother Joel. Ellis Spar with his parents Jerry and Elizabeth Spar, sister Olivia and brother Kyler. And I'd like to recognize our senior manager and scorekeeper, Jason Hicks. Amber Sony with the steal. Finfrock. And nice put back. After the senior night festivities, the Hillers game versus Medfield got underway. Twelve different players got into the scorebooks for the Hillers. The Hillers led after the first quarter, 18-6. Hopkinton added a whole lot more scoring in the second quarter. Amber Sony. Outside. Cooper knocks down the three. The Hillers closed out the second half on a 21 to nothing run and went into the halftime locker room up 44 to 13. Back outside to Ambersoni, he'll reset. 13 on the shot clock. Nice pick from Rosen. Back out to Mafiori. And Steve picks up right where he left off. The Hillers continued to dominate in the second half. The third quarter ended with the score 58 to 26 Hillers. Hopkinton ended up taking the game 80 to 51. With the win, the Hillers improved to 10 and 7 on the season and officially clinched a playoff spot. The Hillers boys basketball team with quite the exciting senior night and a tremendous win over a good Medfield team.